All right, everyone. It is me, Judson Chan. I'm going to quadruple check this. Yes, autofocus is off. And uh, hopefully today is a good Friday. We've had a crazy couple of weeks, but I think we can finally relax a little bit. I mean, I get that today is a down day, but I mean, we had three days of straight gains and the worst of it's pretty much over. So remember when a week or two ago when things were going south, right? Was down a lot, then up the next day, then down up, then down a lot again the next day, then up again. Right? Because it goes like that. You know, when it goes up, it's the same way. You know, it goes up a lot and then down a little bit, up a lot and then down a little bit. Right? Actually, for those of you who've been following me for a long time, I say the exact same thing in cryptocurrency. So, uh, today is no different. And looking at this, I don't really see any, like, fundamentals. Like, for example, uh, let's say this was going down and it was the headline here said house for some crazy reason rejects the stimulus bill well that's an actual fundamental fuck up and yeah that's going to tank the markets right but i don't see that here um now did i open yeah so i did open that article so we will read it um because right now it's always about the fundamentals of course coronavirus right now there's going to be a pretty big fight between people who want us to shut down and continue well a because people are afraid of dying of course but two it's also because it hurts trump uh, that, that's actually what's going on. So they want to tank the economy to fuck Trump over. That's why when this oh wow hey they changed the uh, they changed the uh, pictures here. And Andrew Cuomo is now four cents. <laughs> so uh, so yeah uh, you know that's it's really evil stuff. But what are you gonna do right? That's what happens when you know, you know you have hyper partisanship. Uh, with that being said. It does seem like things are going, you know, as good as it can get. And also, are my stock picks showing up on the right-hand side? No, of course not. Um, <clears throat> hold on. <clears throat> there we go. Well, I, I just hate the Firefox browser so much. So Remel has had like a crazy volatile day. It's like minus 30%. Now it's back to normal, which is minus 1.54%. That's where I, that's what I like to see, but who knows where the hell it'll end up. But then as scary as these big numbers are, it's only down like 3.83%. So it's not that bad. Right? RF standard, Microsoft standard. Yeah. So everything's going down as it should because it's like, okay, hey, everybody was making money. You know, it's going to have to come down for one day. And today's a Friday too, so... I think things will pick back up on Monday. Coronavirus is going to hit every city in America. Yeah, of course. Bank of America, uh, Canada, Canada, cuts rates to 0 0.25. Plants asset purchases. Yeah, so all this stuff, like everyone's complaining about the bailout. They have to understand that our entire system is basically a financial Ponzi scheme. So there always has to be a sucker, quote unquote, to always buy all this shit, right? Peter robs Paul to pay Piper. I forgot the name of the other guy, Frank. I just made up a name. <clears throat> so, um, the Federal Reserve, or the central banks of each country, in this case, the Bank of Canada is their central bank, uh, is basically being the uh, guy that will buy up everything. So as long as we do that, because you know, we learned from the 2008 housing crisis, you know, and of course, as long as they pass the stimulus bill, and then Canada also does their own version of, like, you know, free money to their citizens, then we'll be all right, you know. Our hard part is they're gonna have to raise interest rates later to deal with the hyperinflation. Uh, but but I mean that's the thing too, right? It's the hype. Let me see. USD Euro. One dollar equals point uh, nine one of a euro. Uh, um, here's March 9th, so it crashes. And it spikes. Yeah, it looks the same as it always does. Because if there's hyperinflation, you should see that the US dollar should be barely getting you any euros because the value of the dollar is so shitty. Um, but the thing is, I read a lot of complaints. It's not a lot, but at least whenever it's mentioned, they always say there's a US dollar crunch, which means there's not enough US dollars. So that means the demand for US dollars is very high. So yeah. That means we have to inflate the currency. So, because it's a different thing. 
Right? Hyperinflation only occurs because there's so much being printed that nobody wants it, right? What, what, like, what do you think 404, 2x2, two two, and originally GMC coin was, right? We were hyperinflating the currency, right? And uh, hyperinflation was outpacing demand for the coin. So that's why the prices are where they are at now. That's not the case with the euro. Euro USD and probably other things too. Uh, you, um, I mean, I do know that the pound got really weak though, so that's why this is not a good one. The yen would be a pretty good one. The problem is I don't keep track of it, so I always just use the uh, Euro USD. I mean, this is the only two that matter anyway, right? The two major powers. And then the USD China Yuan doesn't really matter because, you know, China obviously manipulates the currency, so we can't rely on that. Yeah, but this is very stable. In fact, you could see that the US dollar is gaining against the euro too, even while we were inflating the shit out of the currency. Now it's going back to what it normally is, which is, you know, around the high 80s mark. So, yeah, I think we're fine on inflation for now. See, that's why you listen to me. You watch me, because I actually know this shit, all right? You know, I'm not chasing... I mean, as nice as it is to have clout and social media power, no, I tell you the truth. Because in the end, all my shit's not going to matter. Well, it'll matter to you, or my kids. But it's not going to matter in heaven, so what do I care? So, anyway, Bitcoin dance is at 65.6%. 24-hour volume is very low at 114.2 billion. So it looks like uh, the rich people have had enough of crypto. They had a crazy couple of weeks, now they're just chilling. And that's fine by me, because I don't see anything going crazy in the markets in crypto, so... Bitcoin's at 66.30, uh, very good. Uh, Litecoin's at 39.37, uh, very good. So pretty much everything's just kind of flat line. Maybe there's a little bit downward turn because, you know, this is going down today. But I, I don't really see anything, you know, crazy right now. So far, everything looks pretty good, fundamental-wise, though. So. Dogcoin, 227.4 million. It's pretty much flat as well. Uh, Steam... Still holding stay at 17.33 cents. And since we got not too much happening today, because, you know, it's a Friday, we're going to go check out Hive because um, <clears throat> now it's worth like 30 cents. So uh, it's very good. I, mean, I really wish I didn't cancel my delegations for my Hive because I'd be getting free Hive coins right now. You know, I'd be making so much money. Uh, well, actually, I'd be getting 60 cents a day. <laughs> You know, I mean, that's not a lot, but two Hive coins is actually a lot because these Hive coins or Steam coins originally, they're going to be worth 60, 60 to 100 dollars when, you know, Bitcoin reaches a million dollars. So, you know, you know, because back then, you know, one penny bought you like hundreds of Bitcoins. All right. It doesn't require much. <laughs> AMC coins very low at six to seven, but um, I mean it looks pretty stable. A lot of people are buying at seven. It, it just simply had a you know big dumping. Yeah, a lot of people are buying at six, so JMC is fine. Six to seven, four four coins down of is still actually six to seven. It's just missing the six over here. So a lot of uh, a lot of volume going on here. Two by two coins stable fifty nine to sixty two. And the big interesting thing is compound coins been going up a lot. Now it's at 82.33 to 8,500. Granted, there's not a lot here, but I bet you could actually put a sell order somewhere at the upper 7,000. It might actually fill. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess we could look real quick. Uh, more than they are mining. Uh, um... Well, you don't need this. We know what changed. It was coronavirus. Uh, okay, nothing, nothing here. Um, let's see. What do we have in daily hold on? Great. I really should have installed ad blocker on Firefox. Siam commercial bank utilizing Ripple. Okay, I don't care about Ripple. Prominent though, Ripple is going up. A lot of people want to buy Ripple. I don't care about Ripple because A, it's centralized, so I don't want it. And number two, I can't even get it anyway as an American. It's like, it's really hard to get Ripple for some reason. So I just don't care. Prime crypto whale reacts to bullish Bitcoin prediction says, I mean, besides, you know, all the other cryptos are going to go up eventually anyway. So it's like, you know, it's, you might as well just wait. Prime Bitcoin, well, buy when it's cheap if you don't have anything and then just wait. 
Prime Crypto Well reacts to bullish Bitcoin. Uh, unprinted price pattern. Un okay. Uh, uh, what? Okay, I don't care. New way to earn interest of it. Supports wrap Bitcoin. Eh, I don't really care about that. Plus, it's Coinbase, so they can go fuck themselves. You know, their damn censorship shit. We support decentralization, curious, because we need freedom. Then they turn around and ban Andrew Torba, Gab, Laura Loomer, I believe. And I think Roosh V also said he's banned from uh, using Coinbase. So, um, yeah. Does like, okay, money laundering, crypto cloaking, US indicts. What? Oh! Oh, looks like we're back to uh, doing some hoaxing stuff against Venezuela so we can go invade them. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about that either. You know, nobody, nobody gives a shit. All right. Though, though Maduro is a bad man, he does, you know, uh, order his military to fire upon his own people. So that, you know, he, he should be um, facing war crimes or whatever. All right. So Trump is in a commanding lead against Joe Biden. So that's good. Because Joe Biden's marbles is not there. Everyone is... Clearly see that. I think even Democrats are starting to like talk about how to get rid of Joe Biden. <laughs> so, hey, maybe next time you should vote for... Actually, no, they, people did vote for Bernie. Uh, the problem is boomers did not want to vote for Bernie, especially Democrat boomers. <laughs> you know, because we always complain about like, conservative boomers, right? Because we already know what they're all about. But what are the Democrat boomers are all, all about? I'm kind of curious to know. Like, I, they seem to really just keep quiet, I guess. Thank you, Bryrin. Polls are much better than this. If the fake news terrorists at Washington Post add 10 points. Oh, this is just poll. I'm not reading because it it, it, it's just text and numbers. Forget it, all right? I, I already do enough programming as it is, which is not a lot, all right? Yeah, I just don't want to look at any more crap. Oh, speaking of programming, yes. I spent a couple hours yesterday because, like, the biggest thing I have to get over is, like, my fear of, like, okay, now I have to actually figure things out on my own. Like, what do I do, right? Now I have to get over that hurdle. Right? So I'm like, okay, all right. Now I need God to like just show me to, you know, figure out what to type so I can figure out what to, you know, search for. So that took me quite a lot of time. And I finally got, you know, like I'm supposed to create a skeleton for my 2D graphics, but I couldn't even get to that point yet. So I had to get to that point. So I had to split up all the graphics. I had to redo all the graphics. And then, ha and then I finally learned, oh, I'm supposed to install something called 2D animation, which doesn't even come with Unity. Like, a lot of stuff that Unity needs, it doesn't come with it. So it's like, uh, uh, But, you know, oh well. Uh, but, you know, now I know. So, uh, so hopefully today I'll finally be able to animate my character. And then, you know, I think I'll probably call it then. And then, you know, go and then I'll go play Age of Empires 2. <laughs> it's actually a pretty fun game now. Uh, so here we got Trump complaining about Democrats in Kentucky, uh, complain about gun rights, okay. Yeah, I don't really see much, okay, here we go. Uh, Congressman, okay, looks like a third-rate grand standard, Massey, a congressman from Kentucky, wants to vote against the new Save Our Workers bill. Congress just wants to publicity, can't stop it, only delay, which is both dangerous and costly. Workers and small businesses need money now in order to survive. That's actually true. Virus wasn't their fault. It was hell dealing with the Dems. You had to give up some stupid things in order to get the big picture done. 9%. Great. Win back the House, but throw Massey out of the Republican Party. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, throw Massey out of the Republic. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. I didn't realize this. Trump is attacking a Republican? Uh, what? Wow, this is very uncharacteristic. Also, Massey is a piece of shit. But the problem is, Massey represents a uh, more Democrat-leaning place. But even then, they sh he shouldn't be voting as because even the Democrats want this fucking bill to pass. You know, I know there are a lot of polls, and Mike Sturgeon is still running his poll. I mean, I don't actually fully believe it, you know? Because I would be seeing a lot more complaints, right? Because the complaints I do see from the left is just people bitching at Trump. But then they always bitch at Trump. So their opinion doesn't actually count, right? I mean, neutral people are like, heh and ha, huh, right? And I see Adam Scrabble, who's a disenfranchised Democrat. He's got no problems with it, too. A lot of people don't have a lot of problems with it. Uh, so Trump is talking with China. President Xi discussed Gritia. is right a lot of power. China has been through much and developed blah, blah, blah. Blah, very much respect. 
This gets a lot of retreats and we get fights. Uh, the world is at war. The heavy we will win. Um, well, by the way, who is paid by China? So that's why we don't trust them. But obviously, Trump's just trying to get along and go along, right? Because obviously, actually, he's doing the right thing by saying don't blame anyone, right? And obviously, you know that that keeps me safe. So you know, oh yeah, Massey's now trending. Oil, great gas. Okay, da 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 da. da. If I thank you, Mary. Professional Zest. I say, oh, you're saving lives. Yes. That is true. We are respecting uh, the social distancing very well. I, 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 and obviously, I am doing it too. And then uh, when I go to the store, we have the same thing too. They have to tape at the Target and gross, uh, pharmacies. Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right. So the fact that Trump's even talking about stuff like this, you know, non coronavirus stuff, basically means he's back to normal. So that's what I'm looking for. Uh, we can close that. We can take a look at that. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just do this. <clears throat> 16 minutes. Hold on. Stock market news stocks fall. Three day, blah, 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 blah. I Mary went over this, right? Three days of massive gains. Yeah, of course we're going to pull back. And today, it's not that bad of a pullback, right? We gained like what? Four, five, six thousand in the Dow and then whatever equivalent in the other markets. Yeah, we could shave off, you know, a thousand points, right? You still keep 3,000 points. <laughs> you know, this is a marathon, not a race or a sprint. Stocks fall Friday, blah, 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 uh, blah, blah, okay. Countries cooling, okay, so I did browse this before I started the video. So apparently in the EU, Italy, Spain, and France, the hardest hit by the outbreak, are having problems with corona, bo <laughs> corona bonds, jeez. Can you name it even anything more toxic? All right, you know, people are already scared of coronavirus. Now you're going to tell people to go buy corona bonds, All right? I, mean, I guess not everyone's just like scared and stupid or whatever, but it's like, it's not good marketing, but all right, whatever. I mean, it's, I mean, they're dealing with the French, right? So, you know, especially uh, Manuel Macaroni. So to help raise funds through issuance of the share euro debt and other members' country stuck belief, blah, 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 blah. Let's see, uh, the UK uh wow boris johnson himself has fucking coronavirus jeez during the regular session yeah i mean that's the thing europe is very open borders so you know and they also well actually they also said in uh the uk that they're going to do herd mentality so they're going to deliberately let people get infected i mean i guess it could work for uk because they do actually have a pretty um insane healthcare system that's why their taxes are so crazy uh, a lot of it does go to their, what is it called? The NHS, National Health Service, right? NHS UK. What is it actually? Yeah. <clears throat> National Health Service, yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, I mean, that works for them. That wouldn't work here in America because obviously our health care is, you know, fucking retarded, you know. Um, but, oh, yeah, and the stimulus bill, we're going to be giving $350 million away to uh, illegal invaders too, so. <laughs> well, what can what can you do? House of Representatives have to phone the coronavirus Friday, which is today. Uh, blah 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 blah. Um, yeah, I don't see anything. I don't see any indicator. I know. I remember yesterday or maybe two days ago, very late at Wednesday night. Uh, Nancy Pelosi said, "Do not grandstand. Uh, we want this bill to pass." So Nancy Pelosi is basically going to have the House vote on it. I don't even think AOC is going to vote it down. Right. No, no Democrats going to vote it down, except maybe one or two idiots, you know, uh, but I mean, it is the Democrats, so you, you never know. Uh, but once they pass it and then the market goes down today. Right. So basically, let's say they pass it around. Well, ideally, the sooner they pass it, the better. But uh, so we could see what the market reaction is. But let's say we have our down day. It's 4 p.m. Eastern New York time. Markets close. And then at 5 p.m. New York time, they pass the bill. Then Monday is probably going to skyrocket. I'm going to be interested to see what what effect it's going to have on cryptocurrency. Because right now, no one's doing shit, as we can see. Like the past few days, 24-hour volume on cryptocurrency is just very low. Very uncharacteristically low. So that tells me they're exhausted, but they also are probably waiting for something. I think it might be the bill, now that I think about it. Uh... Global cases, yeah, I don't care. We know it's going to go up. States across the Iranian Germany, governor sent blah, 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 blah. Hold on, let me do my bit heroes. 
Uh, states across the country go, remain or go in. Trump sent letters to the governor the White House is seeking to create guidelines for individual con- counties classified as either high, medium, or low risk. Trust the U.S. the country to widely reopen businesses by Easter in mid-April, although health care is just a lifting stay in place where by the time the current trends of the continues to climb. Yeah, I know, but Easter is already so far away. We need to reopen America, all right, because then uh, it's going to be a real problem. We have to at least do a partial reopening. Because when I went to Target a couple of days ago, I wish I took a picture, but I just wanted to it was like, oh my God, there's actually food, you know? <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I got out with my food. It was a ghost town. Normally there's a thousand people at any given time. I could literally count 12 people, not including myself, on the same street. All right? I don't want to give away where I'm, at, where I'm at. But there's bumper to bumper traffic and there's, you know, a thousand people all over the place and you know, honking horns and whatever, right? Lots of people. When I, when I went there... 12 people, all right, not including me. So me, I would be 13, unlucky number 13. Yeah, it's a ghost town, all right. Um, we gotta re- we got to reopen America, all right, even partially, all right. I'll take a partial. But, I mean, I think what will happen is eventually people will just get stir-crazy and say, go fuck yourself, and they'll just go out anyway. <clears throat> uh, states across the country, oh, I read that. Um... Consumer sentiment plummets by the most since 2008. Yeah, I mean, this is already going to be accepted, right? Because everyone's getting scared from coronavirus. This is a lagging indicator, so we already know that, and we don't really care. Um, so now we got three straight days of falling stocks to make it a fair market. No, you're retarded. I live in Maryland, went past 100 business parking lots. Only kind of can't get much worse than there's only gas station. I also drove past school at 2500. One car and huge pile at the. Okay. Stock market doesn't follow reality. If you can't handle the volatility, then go home. Sure. I'll have to sign in. Virus contains key issues. Only do so much a short lived. US authority cannot close to contain it. Sorely dusting, tacking. Um, it took China two full months with total lockdown, massive testing. We have neither. Well, first of all, you're retarded because this was before. Now we're actually doing very well with testing. All right. No one's mentioned how much testing, and we're already ramping up millions of tests. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. So I kind of forgot just how retarded the idiots in Yahoo Finance comments were. Like, the articles on Yahoo Finance are actually generally very good, but the commenters are just so retarded. Don't take a, uh, investment advice from here. Uh, you know, maybe take a stock pick and then do the research right after. Because you have to assume that the person talking about the stock pick in the Yahoo Finance comments is, like, 100% retarded. So... Uh, Mark is being manipulated. Coronavirus bill still spraying, still spraying out of control. It's not out of control. We're testing everyone. That's why the cases are going up, so we know who's infected and who's not. These people are fucking. Ret- okay, I, I'm not going to read any more of these comments. They're literally fucking retarded. All right, it's like there's a like. Remember, what did Jesse Lee Peterson always say? We all get what we deserve, right? Why do poor people stay poor, right? Because ultimately, they're getting what they deserve, right? That includes me. All right. Well, I didn't want to get that anymore, so. You know, I took the time to finally really examine myself. And I was like, yeah, at the time, yeah, I was making bad mistakes. And I didn't even know it was a mistake. That was the worst part. Most poor people don't even know what they're doing is also a mistake. That's why they remain poor. That's why they're getting completely screwed over. So, you know, and when you're, and when your IQ is basically what these stupid comments are, yeah, no shit, you're going to not make money. Right? You know, so. But anyway, you know. I got my Rebel. It looks like it's doing all right. We're going to do one last thing because it does look like it's updating in real time. Yeah. So it was down 30%. Now it's back to, to normal. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Um, oh, I forgot about Hive. I only want to check the their Twitter, see if... Here we go. Uh, and yes, uh, I think they have a price chart here. Oh well, it's around thirty cents. I don't want to. I don't want to risk going to my thing. Uh, Christian stay healthy. Coronavirus. Blah blah blah. Exchange is currently listing Hive, Ionamics, Bittrex. Fuck. Well, Bittrex did actually give me my money back, so they're pretty cool. I don't. I never heard of these Probit guys. Uh, I might be. You know, actually, I wonder if I could actually. Pro bit. Um, hmm. Yeah, they listed. What, what is Pro bit? Uh, it's good enough for Hive, and of course, BlockTrades.us is working. I actually got. Oh. Mm. Mm. 
excuse me. I actually got my, um, I actually bought uh, Hive Coins, no problem, instead of Steam from Block Trade, so it's very good. And I didn't have to worry about KYC stuff either. Uh, with applications submitted to Binance and Huobi Global. So Binance said they will support support it. Huobi will probably also support it. Um, okay. So we'll retweet that. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so nothing new here. Because I'm actually waiting for dlease.io to implement Hive. I really wish I didn't undo the thing. Then that could take forever. But man, I'm gonna literally lose out on you know 30, 40, 60, uh, 60, 90 hive coins, um, and that's just gonna like cost me literally like thousands, tens of thousands of dollars in a few years. Uh, God, but I mean, I don't know. Dealey said they they are uh, high priority working on it. Uh, oh yeah, so I want to probe it. Um, apply for IEO listing. Oh, gotta close this. Uh, 2.5 million monthly and an increase in liquidity. Um, let's not top 20 exchange with real traffic. I don't know. They said they have a lot of traffic, but their Twitter following is like so much smaller. <clears throat> Rank top 20 and going get go listing packages. Here we go. Um, uh, one crypto trading pair, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Uh, gold, uh, one non-fee account. Well, we're probably gonna have to do Ethereum because that's their cheapest one. Uh, two crypto pairs. Okay. Oh, maybe if I have multiple cryptos I want to list, I can do this. Now this could be interesting. One fiat and one crypto pair. How much is this? Let's see. How much is bronze? This could be useful in the future. I mean, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be cheap like Crux, right? But still pretty good. But we'll see. Um, I really hate using a proxy for this. Is this thing going to go? All right. I'm going to open this up in Chrome. All right, here we go. So this is a one-page form. It takes two minutes with the first step, probe it, due diligence, blah, 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 blah. Uh, a lot of this is in Chinese. Okay. Uh, what is the listing fee? Uh, okay, so they don't even mention what the listing fee is. Well, that, means, that basically means it's going to be very expensive. Son of a bitch. All right. Uh, let's see, dlease.io. <clears throat> Corona lockdown. Child is deriving in Australia to be forced into mandatory lockdown. Yeah, that's actually good. You kind of have to do that. Um, let's see, where are we at? 20 minutes. I do want to wrap this up because there's not really much going on. Uh, apps. Oh, so they already started up uh, removing the minnow booster. So they are, they're definitely working pretty hard on it. Um, let me see. Do I have anything updated here on their blog? And then once we look at this, we'll uh, we'll call it six days ago. So nope, uh, we're still waiting. All right. So maybe during the weekend. Hopefully they'll come out with it next week because you know each day that passes where I'm not getting my hive coins right from leasing it out. You know the more uh, the more damage I take. Um, <clears throat> but I mean you know what are you gonna do? Now, will you stop playing this shit? All right, so this will be the thumbnail. Uh, so if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTube, at youtube.com forward slash JMC radio. Uh, we'll just do a little of this. There we go. Uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. Uh, so we can grow this channel or wherever you're watching this from. And I had to reverse it there. So obviously I'm done for the day. Uh, I just chill today. I'm just gonna hope that today, when I start animating my project with the bones, it'll come out pretty decent. And then uh, yeah, and then I'll work. And then that'll be the first thing. And after that, then I have to add the uh, you know you press the WASD keys so you can move the character around and it points in the correct direction and all that stuff. And then probably after that, I probably have to also implement. You know, wherever your mouse cursor is pointing, I want your character to actually point in that direction. So it's going to be a lot of that stuff. Um, 
Yeah, and eventually down the line, I'll be working on, yes, creating you know enemies to shoot. They shoot back at you, and then creating loot, right? Because I have to create. Because that's the basic fundamental core of my game. You shoot, you get shot at, and you loot, and then you run, right, to extraction, right? And then eventually, once the whole game is basically done, I then have to slowly start implementing, you know, <laughs> multiplayer and Azure Play Fab. Ugh. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna it's gonna be quite a journey, but you know, what else am I gonna do, right? Make make movies and film. Man, that's gonna require a lot of money too. So it's like, all right, I might as well just learn to code, right? I can say learn to code here because I can't say that on Twitter. So anyway, just ready to enjoy the rest of the day or night. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. I will see you all in tomorrow's video. And as usual, I am not doing anything. And today's a down day, and it's to be expected. So it doesn't. The damage does not look. It just looks superficial, so it's just, yeah, nothing to worry about for now. Anyway, see you all tomorrow. Thanks. Johnson Chan, JFC Coy, 404 Coy, and here's our uh, thumbnail. Oh, look at that. Rebels up a little bit.